Welcome to part two of living with your heritage seat. Um, so, I guess I'm going to call this the Dr. Fauci maneuver, where I just removed the pillion seat. Because what we have done is we have gotten gain of function. Now the, now the back of the foam seat can move. It's not being constrained by the pillion and the foam has somewhere to go it can displace itself as the seat is compressed so now we have pretty much a nice equal level of compression on the foam because now it has a place to be displaced all the way around the sides and the back side which now makes the area where your tailbone is quite a bit softer because it can be compressed and displaced. There might be a part three. I'll have to see how things work out because now some modifications need to be made. Either to the nose of the pillion or the offending uh, characteristics are these protrusions right here the cavity goes around and it's got some room for a, for a seat bracket to slip in there but this edge right here and this edge right here are the offending characteristics that keep the back of that saddle right in the middle compressed to a higher level of compression making it hard where you're hard and soft where you're soft and being very uncomfortable on your tailbone. But I'm really happy to know that as long as I'm riding by myself right now and don't need to tell you, I've got a comfortable seat with the stock seat. It was just a matter of taking this, this offending characteristic off. Thanks for watching.